I built this Wander a few years ago, and recently a couple people have asked me to describe a little better how parts of it work. Let's start on this side here, where the wire feed is. The Traverse is powered by a fishing reel that we'll get to in a moment. You can see the cable here, this here. Is a dancer. It keeps the wire at a more constant tension as the odd shaped bobbin rotates. Here you can see the fishing reel where it's driven by this six inch diameter sanding disc that I repurposed just for the purpose for this here and it all works pretty smoothly. Turn it on. You can see the traverse cycling back and forth. The platen spinning and the reel being driven by the by the shot. Variable speed by a ceiling fan controller. I'll just shut it off here. It all comes apart in just a moment. The traverse is mounted underneath these large screws and fender washers as are many other parts of this thing. That's what makes it adjustable. We'll just go ahead and take the screws out and remove the traverse so you just get a better idea of what we're dealing with. The whole thing comes loose. You slides on the grooves there. Right here on the end of it, we've got the tensioner and the dancer and the, and the traverse guide. It's adjustable by this little thumb screw here, the whole wire guide slides from one end to the other, and that's how you vary the width of the travel. And that whole thing is driven by the fishing reel over here. I'll loosen it at first. You see the whole thing slides and that varies where it contacts where it contacts this here without changing any other part of it. This can be stationary and you can change the turns per layer just by sliding this from one place to another. Real simple. Alright, let's look under the hood. Over here on this side is the switch for the counter. It's infrared switch, so it's a good idea to have it shaded. But you can see it's just a piece of uh, plastic There's aluminum foil on half of it. And you can probably see the switch in there. It's an infrared LED and a a photosensitive uh, transistor. 
that detects the RPMs or it runs the counter by uh, being interrupted by where the foil is on the plastic here. So, I'm going to take this off here. Okay, here on the other side is the motor and the reduction for it. Get the cover off here. This thing has no belts or pulleys. It's all, everything's a friction drive. get this out of the way. This wheel here is driven by the motor. It's also on a slide. There's no pulley or anything there. And now you can also see that the wheel that drives the reel is driven by a is driven by the shaft right here that runs right through everything. And now you can see the sewing machine motor was concealed. This is just a backer for the for the drive there. But it's all pretty simple. Just a few little pieces and uh, works pretty good.